Hey students, welcome to episode 22 of Hey Students. Why am I such an idiot? I shouldn't say that about myself. I'm cool. Um, today, uh, I'm going to do an unboxing of a bunch of shoulder rests that I bought to share with you violin players if you ever want to check them out if you're trying to find a better shoulder rest or a different one. Um, I'm going to have a box of them that you can test out if you'd like. I found one that I like and I'm going to buy one for myself and then the one that I bought for the school you'll be able to try out if you'd like if you're a violin player. And I also talk a little bit about the marking game. I also wanted to show you, um, so if you know anything about me and about my classroom, which you will because you're my student, so you've been in my classroom, you know that I like Legos a lot. We like Legos a lot in my house, my family. My son plays with Legos every day for like hours. Um, I wanted to show you some of our newer sets that are cool. So here's one of Theo's sets. This is a cool one. It's a Ninjago set. Um, I think it's Lloyd's Dragon. I wanted to buy flowers for my wife, and so I bought her Lego flowers <laughs> that she had to put together. But these are cool. I thought this was a really cool set. I can't remember if I've shown you this set already. This is a uh, Pirates of the Caribbean pirate ship. This is apparently worth quite a bit now because it's not being sold anymore. This was my dad's. I've already shown some of my wife's um, Hogwarts ones, the Harry Potter ones. Um, this one's new. The uh, Chamber of Secrets with the Basilisk. And I think this one is newer, Hogwarts Express, which is cool. And back here, the um, Night Bus. It's another cool one. So, guys, here it is the setup for the marker game. It's my favorite game to play with y'all. I don't know why. I think it's because I love music from movies and TV shows and video games. I love learning about it. I love listening to it. And it's fun playing the game with you guys. I hope you like it. I, my goal is to only play it once a year, even though last year I know we played it more than once. But uh, my goal is to play it only once a year because it's just so special to me. I don't want to, I don't want any of the students to say something like, oh, we have to play this again. <laughs> and so I, and it just, whenever they say that, it just hurts me to the inside, to my core. So we're only gonna play it once a year. So if you're a seventh grader, we'll play it again next year. But yeah, the marker game, epic. By the time you watch this video, uh, the orchestra students will have already played it. Not doing it this year with my general music class. I'm sorry guys, but I just don't think we can handle it in my general music class. <laughs> but uh, probably none of you are watching these Hey Students videos anyway, so probably doesn't matter. But anyway, the marker game, love it. You guys love it too. Uh... All right, hey students, here I am. It is 5.45 a.m. when I'm recording this. We're gonna do an unboxing of a bunch of shoulder rests that I bought. The reason why I bought these is so that I can get to know them better. And if I can find any that would help students feel better when we try to set up their, their instrument, their viola or their violin with their particular setup, their neck and their shoulder and everything, Maybe these would be better than the ones that I have. So it's just kind of to help me get to know what's out there more. So I bought several shoulder rests that came in this box. Okay, so first I wanna talk about the shoulder rest that I already have. This is uh, the shoulder rest that I use. It's an Everest. This one you can buy on Char Music. Here we go. I'm gonna try to go in order of how expensive these are. This one is the cheapest one that I bought. So this one is $28.99. All these prices are at Char Music, which is where I bought these. The M07 Mach 1 Double Injected Mold Violin Shoulder Rest. Check it out. Ooh. So I like how thin it is and, and small. That'll fit in case easier than some of these other ones. See, the problem with this is that like, there's so many factors that will go in to whether or not this shoulder rest fits or any of these shoulder rests is that like, it depends on how, how wide I make this part and this part. It depends on where I put it on the instrument. It also depends on like the chin rest. So like, 
I could try all of these with one chin rest. I could try all of them with a different chin rest. I could try all of them without a chin rest. And one of those combinations might be better. So I don't know, we'll see. I'll just go on. Hold it upside down and you make a smiley face. I think that's right. I guess we'll see. Maybe I'm holding it wrong. Oh, that feels wrong. Flip it. Oh, that's not right either. That is just as bad as any other that I've ever used. So that's a maybe on the mock one. I don't know, it looks cool. The next one. Duo. Play on air. It doesn't even look like a shoulder rest. This one's $34.99. What? I can't tell if this is the bottom or this is the bottom. <laughs> ah! Careful. the next one. The next one is the Bon Musica. Okay, this one I've heard of before. This one on Char is $49.99. So this is a $50 shoulder rest. It's twice as expensive as the one I've been using. Oh, I just ripped it. Ooh, I don't want to read this whole thing. Ugh, I'll read it later. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so apparently you can bend all this stuff and kind of shape it and mold it to your, to your body. Okay, let's see if we can get this on here correctly. That just looks cool. Oh. Ooh, that might be the one. That's my favorite one so far. Yeah. Okay, the next one is this one. It's another Mach 1, I guess. And this one's $80. Why is this one so expensive? Ooh, it is fancy. Oh, this is real wood. It feels very light and small. I think this is leather. I like this one's second best. That's this one, Performa. This one was $105. Ooh, look how fancy pantsy that is. This is the, the beautifulest looking one so far. Okay, not loving, not loving that. It looks beautiful, but I, I don't know. I won't be using this one. I'm sorry, Performa. You were beautiful and I loved you. But sometimes beauty isn't the most important thing. Sometimes it's what's inside that's important. And what is inside you sucks. Just kidding, it doesn't suck. I'm sure this is great for some people. Here's our last one. This is $125.95 at Shark. It does come with a fancy case. <laughs> the Violin Shoulder Cradle. Comfort Violin Shoulder Cradle Plastic Regular. Let's get this beautiful. How much are we paying for this like faux leather green case? I don't know. The Comfort. How do I get it out? Huh. Huh? Huh? Oh, I do not like that one. I probably like this one third. This one I loved. Second would probably be this Mach 1. Third would probably be this Comfort Violin Shoulder Cradle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. That's it. That's Hey Students, episode 22. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this outro in our pantry, but um, there's some cereal. <laughs> uh, am I running out of ideas? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. We, uh, like I said, pretty soon I'm gonna have all those shoulder rests available. For you violin players, if you want to try a different shoulder rest, I can let you use it for like a class period and you can just like see what it feels like. Um, as you grow, your body obviously is going to change and you know, some of the dimensions of your neck and shoulders might be different as you grow. So, you know, periodically it might be nice to try out a different setup and try a different shoulder rest. So let me know if you'd like to try them out. Like I said, some of those were pretty expensive, but Anyway, just an idea. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a good week. And I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Whoa.